welcome to Buildings of Tomorrow. My name is John Lester, and in this episode, we'll be talking about Building Information Modeling, or BIM for short. I'm joined in the studio by Wolfgang Huss, a principal expert for BIM. Wolfgang, thank you for joining us. Yeah, hello. Let's start at the very beginning. <coughs> what is Building Information Modeling? Yeah, Building Information Modeling is not so new. We are talking about BIM for a long time, and it starts when we change from 2D cut drawings to 3D cut, but uh, it's much more than just uh, making drawings in 3D cut, but there it was more or less a start, it's more than 20 years ago. And, uh, but now it's covering much more than just the drawings, it's more than 3D. It's a change of the method, how we are designing buildings, how we are simulating building buildings, and offshore how we are operating buildings. So that's the base. At the end, uh, BIM stands a little bit for the digitalization of our industry. Okay, and what is the difference between BIM and that approach compared to what we do in most cases today? Yeah, one of the biggest changes is that uh, in our industry, we are doing the design according to the progress of the building. Uh, so it's a sequence in our design for the technical uh, disciplines in the building. Mm -hmm. So for example, the electricity is designed in an early phase CCTV, cameras in the late uh, stage, and there is no time-wise overlap. And I do not know any other industry who is acting like us in the building industry. In most of the other industries, or in all the other industries, yeah, the plants are ready, simulated, tested, and then they are starting to produce. And in our case, it's different. And there is a big gap, I think, uh, in our work, in our work today. Um, that there is no coordination between the uh, different uh, technical disciplines just because of the method okay. which is behind. Okay, so we, in the building industry, we start to build a building and only part way through do we start to think about what we will put inside it. Yeah, and it's uh, depending on the progress, we are starting design and then there's a lot of measuring how the building is really built. So there's one expression I really don't like, it's the as-built documentation we should think much more about and build as planned. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe building industry is a little bit different to others, yeah. But there we have to learn to build according to the plans, how it was planned, yeah. And then hopefully the result will be much better. And there is, and that's my very strong belief, there are big opportunities if we would have a better co coordination between the technical disciplines, um, because it's a workaround on site. Um, cross-discipline solutions here, yeah, they are more or less not possible because the solutions are requested in different tenders. Mm. And so we have to change a little bit our behavior, the methods which are behind. But that means that the value chain will change. Yeah? So the responsibility will change. So it's, it's a new structure, how we can do or how we should do our business in future. Okay. And that's a little bit a problem because it's not one company who can do BIM. That's the community. That's everybody who is involved in our industry. So it has to be everybody involved with the building has to start to talk like yeah. they don't talk today. Yeah. It's a little bit similar like the change of uh, right-hand driving to left-hand driving many years ago in Sweden. Yeah? It couldn't be that one company or bus or truck company makes a change and the others yeah. will follow later on. Yeah, It makes no sense. Yeah, This would not work out yeah, well. It would not work. No. So uh, the complete community uh, has to go this way. Of sure, there are steps possible, so not everything has to be perfect uh, at the same moment. But it's uh, not just one part in the complete chain who can change it, it's the industry in general. Okay, so, so BIM at, at its most basic level is a change in the way that we talk and the way that we work together across the entire Excellent. building, so all of the stakeholders involved. And if we want to make the change, we have to go with this together. We can't uh, change in one part and not in the others. Yeah. Okay. And it's uh, the two days BIM or the two days pilot projects. They are covering, let's say, the first phase of the design and the construction. This is, uh, you know, the, these are the general contractors responsible for concrete, steel, wood, facades, and so on. So the base construction. And that's covered quite well today with BIM. But there's a lot of static in this model. Mm. And now we are stepping in into the technical disciplines. There's dynamic you know, HVAC systems, security systems. So now we are talking about functionality. 
So nobody is talking about a concrete wall about functionality. Yeah. Yeah. And now intelligent systems are stepping in into this BIM world, and we have still no definition in these IFC standards yeah. or BIM standards for dynamic processes, for parameters, and so on. And now we have to step in there with our technical equipment, with our industries. And so find a way to make this work. To, yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you all for joining us on Buildings of Tomorrow. Please feel free to like, share, and comment on this episode, and also subscribe to us here on this channel. We'll see you soon.